Am I good? Am I good? She's uh, coming I've been practicing. <laughs> I've been practicing. Okay, I am so excited. Look who we have here. Nancy Hope and her guitar. You're going to yeah. play for us a little bit later on. I can't wait. Okay, but today we're making pasta a la guitarra. Guitar. Get it? Guitarra <laughs> is the guitar. Okay, you're going to put that down. I'm going to put you to work right away. Right. <laughs> I am so delighted that you are here and joining me. Um, I've known Nancy from my time at Bishop Bryan High School when you were just a wee young know. woman as a student. <laughs> and now you are a budding musician and, uh, and making all of us proud in Hamilton. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank no, you so thank much. you. <laughs> okay, so let's get started and that way we can talk mm. and make pasta at the same Yay. time. So I'm using uh, doppio zero, which is a nice soft flour. You really need to weigh flour. Have you ever made pasta? I have with my nonna, yes. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> yes. So if you feel like you need to give me some advice from your nonna, oh. you just jump right in, okay? Okay. okay. So you really, you should weigh. Um, so I've got here 600 grams of doppio zero flour. What, is, what flour does your nonna use? I believe it's a uh, red rose. Is it? Uh... Okay, so yeah. um, <laughs> now I can't remember the name. So like an all-purpose flour, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Does she do a hole like this? Oh, yes. Oh. Nice, yep. see that? Very good. The well. She calls it the well. That's right, La Fontana. Yeah. That's what we're yes. going to do. You're going to crack some eggs for me. Right. Are you okay with that? Oh, yes. Awesome. So you can crack them in there. Perfect. So Nancy's music is really inspiring. And if you haven't heard it yet, I don't know where you've been. Uh, you can just put the <laughs> put these shells awesome. there. There you Perfect. go. Perfect, thank you. And uh, so tell me a little bit about your music. Now I'm testing you because now <laughs> you're cracking the egg. I'm just kind of standing around and you're going to answer my questions. <laughs> yes. So tell me about your music. So I like to call my music a bit of... You know, they're kind of like rock anthems, stadium anthems, and also heartbreak ballads. Oh, That's kind of how I define it. But I think the biggest thing for me as a musician and as a person is that I believe it's my mission to really inspire and give mm. hope to others through my music. And that's really evident in the songs mm -hmm. that I'm writing. So you do the music and the lyrics? I do, oh yes. Oh my gosh, so talented. So I have six eggs and I have right. 600 grams of flour. We're going to add a pinch of salt. You know, there's always a little controversy about the salt. What does your nonna do? Um, I, honestly, she always changes her recipes. <laughs> That's a good woman. <laughs> and I add a little bit of olive oil. Oh, and nice. uh, we're going to dump it in there. So you go ahead and do okay. that. Awesome. So this inspiration... Um, you know, uh, is very dear to my heart because yes. as a teacher, I figured that was my goal, right? To inspire others yes. to be the best that they can be. And my students inspired me to be the best I could be. I love that, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So tell me, who inspired you? Well, for music, I would say it was my family. So I came from my mom's side is Italian. So my nonno, he was a guitar player. Uh, his sister sang. Uh, a guitar or mandolino? Uh, guitar. Oh, very yes. nice. But his brother played violin. Oh. So there was very musical background, and that's, I think, definitely in the genes where I get it. <laughs> but I was exposed to a lot of music at a young age, mm -hmm. and he listened to Andrea Bocelli. Oh. And one of my earliest memories is singing Vivo Perle, if anyone knows. Oh, that yes. Song. I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs. Is that Ipu? Uh, who sings that? Do you, do you know? It was the one that, it was Andrea Bocelli and oh. uh, Laura Pausini, oh, I believe. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. It's a classic version. Oh, my, you got to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going way back here, right? <laughs> yes. Very nice. Yeah. And what about your lyrics, then? I'm just going to interrupt for a second. Yes. See what we're doing here? I'm sure you're familiar with this. Oh, yes. And I'm going to ask you to get your hands dirty in just about a minute, okay? Yeah. <laughs> but in the meantime, tell me about um, where your lyrics come from. Yes, I, I love that question. Um, first of all, growing up, I also listened to a lot of Brian Adams and mm -hmm. Amanda Marshall. And in their songs, if you ever listen to those, they're very inspirational. They're very relatable. Yes. And that's the type of music that I always wanted to write. And I really wanted to write from you know my own experiences and being a musician growing up. But it was those artists that you know inspired me to write songs that could mm -hmm. you know 
move people and be a timeless song. So when you say move people, yes, you know, that touches my heart because I always find that if you can touch someone's heart, if you can move them, yep. then, uh, you know, you're going places, right? Yes. Okay. So now it's time to get our hands dirty. Yay. Okay. So you go ahead. I'm okay. going to take about half. You take half okay. and we're going to start kneading this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So this dough has rested for about uh, a half hour. Do you rest when you're so busy with your music? Do I rest? Oh. Do you rest? I you try. Take care of yourself. Yes. How do you take care of yourself? I love to exercise. That's yes. definitely something. Uh, I like to do yoga. Weightlifting is a big part of my life. Weightlifting. Yeah. Nice. That's at the top of my list. And I'm a big uh, avid reader. So I love reading all types of books. Um, yeah, a lot of self-help books, but like philosophy. Nice. Uh, just to kind of take that time for myself and recharge. Okay, yeah. it's time to play this guitar. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, no <laughs> lessons required. So uh, this dough is a little thicker than what uh, you would use for, let's say, you know, a fettuccine or linguine. Right, okay. okay. But this um, helps the dough uh, form like um, a cube. It's a cube shape. I, I think okay. there's like a better word for that, but I can't think of it right now. And I'm going to use this only okay. because it's heavier okay right so you're going to roll it back and forth so i'm going to let you do that okay. right from the top to the bottom and you got to really press hard and then we're going to strum the guitar and watch all the strands of pasta come out and wait till you see the side i can't side. wait <laughs> okay you're doing a great job i'm just going to press a little harder, okay, a little harder. Yeah. yeah here we go sometimes too you can just press okay. it like this yeah. So I bought this, actually my sister bought this for me and my brother-in-law in Sulmona in Abruzzo. So this pasta, Beautiful. this type of pasta is very uh, traditional for the Abruzzese. Okay, ready? Here's Here we from. go. Here we go. There we go. And there they go. They come <laughs> off. And if they get stuck a little bit, you just keep rolling. But look. Look at Beautiful. this. You get strands of pasta. We're going to continue on and then we're going to make the sauce, okay? Okay. All right. Of course, this is my favorite part of the show, but I'm going to set this up and make it look really pretty. Yes. Okay? <laughs> In the meantime, can you please tell me about my favorite song? One in a trillion. Yes. So that was uh, the latest song I released in October. And it's really a self-empowerment anthem that I really wanted to inspire anyone that kind of needs a little bit of a boost to yeah. know of just how great they are. And sometimes we need a reminder of that. So there's a line in there that says uh, something like, I look in the mirror and facing back is courage. Yes. Okay, what, what's the right, yeah. right, what's the right there right there? That's got the sentiment. When, okay. I, when I look into the mirror, uh, face, my face is staring back at me. Now I'm finally liking what I see. Oh my gosh. And you yeah. talk about courage and resilience. Yes. I just love that message. Yes. And uh, we had a lot of fun today. We did. I, I know. It's incredible. Yeah. If you don't follow uh, Nancy, you've got to be following her because you have some upcoming songs coming and some gigs that you're playing, right? I do. Yes. I got some more performances. You can follow me on Instagram, Nancy Hope Official, for more updates on new music and where you can find me playing. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, we talk about love. This for me is like love for community, yes. love for others, and uh, wishing you all the best. Okay, this Thank is you. really hot, but it's going to be so good. Here we go. Oh my all gosh. The taste buds. Okay, here we go. Huh? Oh, Nancy. <laughs> wow. this episode. Nancy, thank you so much again for joining me. Look at this wonderful feast of love. There's no better way to show how much you care for someone by cooking them a delicious meal. Better yet, invite them into the kitchen and do it together. Happy February. Be kind. Show love. Thank you again. We're going to listen you. to Nancy. See you next time. Yeah. Because I, I'm resilient. Nothing but brilliant I got myself That's all I need Even if nobody else believes Cause I Oh I'm A one in a trillion Thank you so much Thank you